I'd like to share uh, something that I uh, I got. It's a letter from Stanley Clark, the bass player that was in uh, uh, Return to Forever with Chick Corea. And this is dated 1974. And uh, uh, I won't show you that too much of that because it has addresses on it. I'm sure the address is no longer any good but for him. But uh, uh, what it was is uh, uh, on the back of the Return to Forever albums, and I don't know which one it was, probably the first or second one, but I'm not positive, first or second album, it, it encouraged uh, fans to write in and write to them. So I did. And it didn't come back real soon. In fact, it was quite a while, I think, before I ever got this letter from Stanley Clark. But uh, I was just flabbergasted when I got it in the mail. I couldn't believe it, that he'd actually write back. Uh, I wished, even in the letter, he even asked me to uh, write back. I wished I would have. I never did. But, uh, you know, had I done that, who knows? Maybe the conversations would still be going on and... Anyway, it's printed on uh, Stanley Clark's uh, letterhead, stationery, and it's a four-page letter, two pages with written on front and back. Now, he didn't write a whole lot. It is written in large writing, but uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it doesn't matter. He wrote back. Unbelievable. I'll read it to you. It says, Hey, Warren, thanks so much for the letter you sent me and Chick. It was a very, it was very beautiful of you to, you to do that. First, I will get all the technical answers to your questions out of the way first. On the Hymn to the Seventh Galaxy record, I used a Gibson EB2 bass with an acoustic 371 and roto, roto sound strings round wound. The bass that I am holding in the picture on the back of the on the back of Where Have I Known You Before album is an Alembic bass, which was custom made by a company in San Francisco. If you would like more information about the bass or the company, write me. I've been doing very good recently. I just got this house and I'm in the process of fixing it up. Let me show you the back side of that other letter before I move on. This is the back page of that first sheet, second side. And then I'll continue on. This is the second sheet. I did get the piccolo bass made. It's fantastic. I still haven't got the proper strings made for it yet. Are you a bass player? <laughs> By the way, I have a solo album coming out soon, November 26th, on the Nipper record label, distributed by Atlantic Records. If you should see it, if you should see it, pick it up. I think you'll like it. And then he says, uh, thanks again for writing. I'll be hearing from you soon, I hope. Stan. And this is the... Uh, Second sheet of paper, third page. And this is the last side of that page. You put a little smiley face under uh, his solo album. He says, pick it up, I think you'll like it. Then he drew a little smiley face. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see. Maybe, maybe the line's not so good in here. Uh, can you see that stuff or not? We'll see. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I really am. I've saved it all these years. And uh, I always drag it out and look at it. And, uh, well, I was playing bass back then. In the night, at the time these albums were out. And, you know, waiting for another Return to Forever album was almost like waiting for the next Beatle album for me. I, I, was, I just couldn't wait for it to come out. And... Uh, uh, so I was real excited uh, for those albums, and I'm glad they put out as many as they did before they split up. But uh, 
God, what a group that was. Oh, boy. I saw them live once in Kansas City. And uh, and they still had Lenny White playing, Stanley Clark, Chick Corea, and I believe it was Al Demiola, I think, was still on guitar, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, of course, I did like the first album with uh, Bill Connors on guitar. I think it was the first album. That's the only album that I believe that he played on, uh, I think, at least on electric guitar. Uh, and then I think Al D Demiola stepped in. But uh, I really, uh, that was just one of my favorite bands. Still is. I, I love that music. And uh, anyway, uh, I just thought some of you uh, fans of Stanley Clark might enjoy this. Maybe some of y'all have one of these too. Maybe he wrote to you in the 70s or any time. Uh, if they, if, if he did share that information, I'd like to see it and, uh, hear about it and, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.